man, are we broke. Yeah, yep. just, a, just a little bit broke. Just, just a touch already. <laughs> so, uh, we basically figured out that we don't know what we want to do yet. And we're trying to decide. So we uh, got this huge planner here. So at least we uh, look big time. Don't well, you say clutch? Of. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we look like we know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's part of the process, right? Yeah, that's 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 the main thing. As long as you're looking like you know what you're doing half the time, maybe probably a tenth of the time, we might be all right. But we did purchase a brand new, we're going to call him uh, Little Blue here. Little, I like that, Little Blue. I like that. Nice. Little Blue. Yeah, Little Blue. I kind of like Little Blue. I, I really like the front tires, even though he's a two-wheel drive. I think he's perfect for a chore tractor. That looks think? good. I'm, uh, I, I mean, we, we needed someone with that front loader, so uh, this is probably yeah. a pretty good bet. So if you don't know, uh, we... This... FSN plays extremely realistic where there is no cheat, there's nothing that we can't do. So our biggest limitation, and we probably should have thought about this, I should have thought about this, Clutch, this wasn't Clutch's fault, this is my fault. Is, yeah, you can uh, blame me, I'm okay with it. Okay, yeah, okay, us, Team uh, Stevio's Clutch, uh, uh, we purchased a farm way too far away from the shop. And we have to drive a long way, so we drove the tractor down here. We drove the trailer. Uh, we are way behind compared to other farmers around this area. So, don't you say? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got we haven't even got anything planted. We we still have fields to line before we could plant, and yeah. we're already in the summer. We got nothing planted yet. Um, you know, if if this continues on, we're gonna be. I think we're gonna be living in someone's barn here by the uh, the fall if this keeps up. I don't know. It's not looking pretty promising right right now for us. We, we could be in trouble. Yeah, I think the bank might take anything anytime. But at least we should probably get seeds in our ground, and maybe they won't take them. Maybe I don't know. But I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> we are hopefully we're gonna head up there back to our farm. I'm gonna start planting. Uh, Clutch, he's gonna start liming. And he needs to take off for other business, and then uh, hopefully I can finish Lyman because there there's a lot of work to do and a lot of stuff to plant, and we're behind. But just not enough time to do it all, so we'll see how far we can get on it. Yep, let's get yeah. to it anyway. So all right. Lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times But I needed attention No matter what I say No matter my regrets Things still been said and done mm -hmm. There's not a part of me That wants to say no mm -hmm. But I have realized to let go, oh, oh, cause something's broken, and I'm the reason, it's not that easy, knowing you'll do better without me, without me. Again, if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes. It's just the way I am. That's why you have to know. Yeah, there's not a part of me that wants to say no. Mm -hmm. But I have realized I had to let go. Oh, oh. cause something's broken. Uh, Clutch, you got me on CB? Yep, I got you. What's up? How do you like that new truck, by the way? Well, I mean, we may be getting broke, but at least I'm riding in style. Yep. Well, I mean, that's what we're going for. Let's just spin it all right from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a casino on this map? 
I well, the, we can play the lottery, and I think that should be our ultimate plan, our long-term plan for this farm. Just play the lottery, and hopefully, uh, we win that. That so, sounds like a pretty good retirement plan to me. Let's do that. Yep. So me and Clutch talked. Uh, we kind of looked at prices. We kind of tried to make the decision. So I know I talked a little bit about silage. Clutch is, we kind of talked and we kind of figured that silage would be kind of bad because uh, prices and all that and the workload it takes. So we are on an extremely short uh, season here. So... Uh, beans, we we both have full time jobs. I don't know if that's enough to uh, commit to this game properly and make money. So we're just gonna go with uh, planting soybeans because uh, the prices we looked, we thought that would probably be the smartest. Anyways, I don't know. What do you think, Clutch? You know, soybeans seemed like they were the best price when we quickly looked there. I mean, it, trying to figure out these global markets, this is something that is completely new to, I think, both of us. So yeah. that's really going to be uh, the the kicker on this. I mean, if we just had regular prices, maybe we could do look at, at doing just some chaff and some silage. But looking at the way global markets work, I think for time versus amount of money spent or amount of money we're going to get out of it, I think this may be the best bet. Yeah, I just... I. I think we both realize we're overwhelmed. It's kind of cool all the stuff you can do, but we just don't know where to turn. Like, there is, I mean, literally, you can, there's live auctions, there is uh, global markets you can play, and uh, what else? I mean, you can purchase land on live auctions, you can purchase equipment, uh, you can play the lottery, you can put in for, like, uh, hidden prizes possibly hey we should steal that whatever that pallet there but <laughs> technically that's on county out, roads uh, so. vehicle registration as well we got vehicle registration and all the different licenses licensing we need as well that's something we still need to figure out yeah so right now we are uh, hopefully doing this legal but i doubt we are yeah i'm not sure mm -hmm. if um this little bit trailer should be really Taking a tractor plus a full uh, a full lime spreader on it, but you never know. It might be able to handle it. Hey, it just asked for forgiveness. I got my hazards on, right? That's that's yeah. enough. Maybe I should have put like oversized look mode on like the front of that, and we could do whatever we want then. There we go. There we go. There we go. Do you know what this is over to the side of us here? I'm not, I'm kind of trying to figure this out. Do you know this? Not a clue. So I know this is the dairy farm over to the left. I'm like, what is this over to the right? I have no idea. I have not been down this road yet. Interesting. Does it look like crop storage down there? Oh, huh, interesting. It'd be kind of cool if we had like a uh, co-op where we could possibly purchase seed a little bit closer to the farm. Yeah, I mean, the uh, it, it's like a good 15-20 minute drive just to get to uh, get out to the shop to buy anything, which is not a great lot of time to spend. Yeah, we're going to have to take that Ford down to the shop one of these days and get our logos put on it, so we'll have to drop oh, it yeah, off. That's right. That's right. That would be interesting. That would be nice to have. Since we're going to probably be living in the truck by the end of the year anyways, by the sounds of things. Yeah. At least we'll look good until we go down by the river where we live at. <laughs> oh, can I see our farm finally? Is that what I see down there? No, that would be... I think over to the left is... Uh, is that Austin's? It's Jake and Austin's, I believe. Okay, I see the one on the right on ours. It looks like I think I, I think that's ours at least. Yeah. So on, well, yeah, ours is way down there on the right. We basically drive probably it seems like two thirds of this map in a circle. Oh, train! We get to enjoy the very long train. So this is how trains where I grew up, I remember. 
or you count a hundred or so cars. To be honest, I'm pretty sure there's a pressure plate. Every single time I drive, I run into this plane train. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Clutch, I'm gonna start planting some soybeans right in here. Sounds good, I'll finish up the lighting. All right. So we got our big giant planter unfolding here. Whew. It is kind of big. So this is the first time in a long time I use this horse planter. Unfortunately, we did not purchase buy this. We're just leasing it. We're just going to try it out for a few. Uh, just because we are really hurting for money right now. So if you see $55,000. Now granted, we still have to do all. That's going to basically, we're going to have to survive on that. So hopefully we can get it all planted. We're going to plant soybeans like we said. Uh, hopefully I can get everything limed and everything planted today. So I know we don't usually we usually cultivate in this lime and everything, but today because of uh, the bank won't borrow us any more money, we're, we're going to have to do what we have, and that is without a cultivator. All right. Let's see if this tractor is pulling it pretty good. I was a little bit worried it might be a little bit underpowered, but. We're actually going pretty good so far. Kind of happy with this planter. Yeah, this planter is huge. I might have to seriously think about purchasing this thing. You can't turn the tide. Go where it wants to go. You can run and hide. You can bury yourself beneath the stone. Somebody told me, don't pretend. Cause everyone could use a friend sometimes. Take some good advice. Clutch went back to get another load of lime. Man, are we going for the lime for this place. We spend a lot of money in lime. We'll probably, lime's going to make us go broke. That and seeds. Uh, everything, the planter, everything's running fairly good so far. I really enjoy this planter. I'm making, this thing is making really good time. I, we definitely, if we didn't have to plow up our fields or anything, could plant a lot of fields quickly. Uh, to tell you the truth, it took us a while just trying to figure out what we wanted to do. So I know I said that we possibly might do silage, but it just seems like the silage prices on this map wasn't exactly... Uh, it wouldn't have been smart, I don't think, to do straight silage. On this map uh, we still could I plan on getting a row crop planter once we do purchase a planter that is and uh, so we could do soybeans corn possibly sunflowers and silage if we want to in the future oh man so we are trying to get everything done on this farm we are kind of behind, to be honest, still, so we at least hopefully will have one field planted. There for a while I thought we were going to be, not even get our seeds in because we start planting so late. So hopefully uh, we might have to pull this tractor down here and uh, 
go help out uh, Austin and uh, Jake plant, but they're kind of behind on their planting, but... So we are finishing up this last little bit, then I gotta go in the tank and hopefully figure out how much we got left in this uh, horse planter. Hoping that we have enough to complete the last little bit here. Climb up on here and see how much we got. Alright, we got... Ooh. We're getting low on some seed, that's for sure. Looks like we have a very small, uh, basically, area for seed. We got plenty of fertilizer, but not enough seed. Hopefully I can complete the rest of the field. We're gonna start right in on this next field right away. So we got this, uh, hoping Clutch looks like he's about done. Clutch has been liming. It's great. Ooh, come on. Oh, 8R, you can do it. It's 8R has a few years on it, but it's still basically brand new to me. Turn here really sharp. Make sure that clears all them trees. Definitely gonna hit some of them brush like we're doing right there but uh, definitely don't want to hit a tree especially uh, when I, I need to take this back later I have to take this planter back and I, I don't want to gonna I don't have no red paint in the shop if you know what I mean Jesse was born on a winter's night in the middle of the storm. The road was blocked, so Jesse was born in this old house. Raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world. Her laughter traveled well across those hardwood floors. So, uh, how'd you make do with the, uh, the seating? I ran out of seed, so I'm gonna have to make another trip down there and pick up some seed bags. Oh, that sucks. I had a funny feeling that was gonna happen. Um, yeah. I, I've got some some pretty good news and some kind of bad news for you. Yeah. What, what do you want to hear first? Uh, let's go with the bad news. The bad news. All right. Bad news. The T6. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't have enough power to run the spreader very well. Uh oh. Do you uh, want to know what the good news is? Yeah. It allowed me to spray the lime without having to really use too much of the product. I just have to, kept on having to activate the spreader every time. Um, and as soon as it would spool up, it would shut down. So I was still able to lime the whole field, but I constantly had to spool up the spreader in order to get it to do anything, and that would sh immediately shut down. So I only used about maybe 30% of the lime we purchased. So there's some good news. Hey, that's... That actually works out for us, because that would have took forever. That has to be, like, <laughs> at least three loads. <laughs> I was kind of chuckling. I mean, it was a pain. It was the worst liming job I've ever had to do. But, um, you know what? I, I guess I shouldn't complain too loudly, because it, it still did it. And we ended up with more product than we ever would have if otherwise. So, huh, oh well. Hey, hopefully this old girl can pull a gravity wagon or something. I oh. think it'll do the gravity wagon. I just, I'm just, I don't know. I'm surprised because how many horsepower was it? 150? Uh, 180, actually. It's a I T6 180. It should be able to pull this. There's no reason I don't think why it's having so yeah. many issues. I'm surprised. It might pull it slow up the hill, but I thought yeah. it, I kind of like how it looks, to be honest, even though it really was made for a front wheel assist. You can tell by the, the hood yeah. there. I, yeah, I mean, I. <sighs> It's unfortunate that it's giving me so much grief, but I mean, it does work. Um, so maybe it'll work uh, okay when it comes to fertilizer spreading even as well. We might be able to save a little bit of cash for that. I don't I don't know if you want to try to, I mean, it's got the big wides on it, so it's going to be tough for too much fertilizer spreading, but anyways. Yeah. 
<laughs> yep. If nothing else, hopefully it'll pull it. It'll work good for at least a loader tractor. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It'll look good. Um, so are you are you going to get more seed right now then? Yep. I'm gonna go get some more seed and uh, I'll probably just end up driving it down, and then hopefully one load will get that done. As you can see, I have all the fertilizer I'd ever need. Yep, there's a ton mm -hmm. there. But I don't have none of the seeds, so. Excellent. Well, oh well. well I guess uh, you'll grab that. I'm I'm done for the day here. I'm gonna go put this back away, and uh, I'm gonna come back and check on things tomorrow, I guess, and see what else if there's anything else that needs to possibly get done. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. You got some talent with that spreader. I might. You you could do some uh, fertilizing. Well, maybe we mm -hmm. could pull, possibly do that tomorrow. Let's we'll see if we can uh, spray some more down. I don't know. This, does this field I'm standing in right now, does that come need fertilizer tomorrow? Yep. Uh, one thing we need to do is possibly look about for some fields around here. So might have okay. to do some scouting. Hopefully we can find a field or two to purchase so we can uh, keep up with the people like the squad and Spencer TV. and Keeping up with the Joneses, I get it. Yeah, I get it. keep it up all with right. all the Joneses. All right. All right, well, I'm gonna go put this away, and then uh, I'll I'll take a route around tomorrow. Then and we'll see what we can find. Uh, but, right. yeah, have a good one, my friend. Good luck Later. Out there with that seed. <laughs> yep. Oh, so we are finally back. Let me tell you, roading this thing is not easy, and we're probably putting a lot of road time on this tractor that we probably shouldn't be putting a lot of wear and tear. Let's just say that something that doesn't need to have that much wear and tear, but. Uh, really, because uh, where we're at and uh, how much we have to either load up the trailer or pallets or stuff, it just seems like a faster process right now just to take the tractor down there and load it up. Ooh, I just realized I have to drive over the planted uh, surface here. I could have planned this out better. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Unfold this planner. Unfold's kind of cool. Pretty quick. Don't think we should unfold it that quick. Probably should have idled down there. Pull ahead a little bit here. Turn on my air. Lower it. Start all over again. Man, I am going to be so happy once I got this field all the way planted. I've been worried that we wouldn't even get our seeds in. I tell you, this is a little stressful uh, working the, this short of a season, let's just say that. Should hopefully get everything, all this planted with this, uh, this basically tank on the planter want to open. I do like our new fields that we created. They're kind of scenic looking. They're definitely not uh, nice and square. They're not too big, so we can keep uh, basically a good population of multiple disease from spreading from plant to plant. Just over here looking what the competition's doing over here. Looks like they are uh, basically creating some fields. Man, they're growing quick. It's a pretty nice area they have over here. Definitely scenic. Kind of a good pick, I think. My opinion, I wouldn't mind having this field down here. A little bit far for our farm, though. Nice looking farm. Back up here get out of their way but man do they have to create a lot of fields we got some uh, definitely some weird shaped fields over here so we came down here we picked up an under fur little uh, seed tender you go fill it up with seeds down at the co-op here quickly hopefully this will be uh, a little bit more convenient than just hauling them all Bye. We didn't have much But in a way You know we had it all She grew up fast In her breath or two She was on her way out the door Finally
finally got back from our long haul all the way over there where Buck and Grant started basically farming. So now, hopefully, I can go over and get that planter filled up for the last time. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here on FSN. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.